Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Sarah Hughes. I'm the Senior Vice President of Customer Experience here at Candy Communications. And welcome to today's webinar. Today we have um, Yaylink with us and uh, just a little housekeeping. Um, this webinar is being recorded and so you will be able to share it uh, and go back and review it, but share it with other team members maybe that haven't attended this or that would get some value out of it. Uh, please use the chat function uh, at the bottom right of your screen to be able to submit any questions and we're happy as we go through this presentation to answer your questions real time. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Simon Legood. He uh, is in charge of training here at Candy Communications and he is going to be handling our fireside chat webinars to all of our partners from this point moving forward. So Simon, take it away. Hey, welcome everybody. Um, thanks, Sarah. So I just wanted to introduce everybody that you got on the call this morning. Um, so you are probably already familiar with Jason Whitaker. Um, he's going to be helping me kind of moderate things as we go through this session today. Um, and then from Yaylink, I've also got uh, Echo Zhang, who's the manager of the sales engineering team with Yaylink. Uh, and then Martin Oyang, who is one of the sales engineers. Uh, Martin's actually gonna be the one kind of going through talking to everybody as we go through. Uh, and like Sarah said, if you wanna ask a question, feel free to use the, ch the chat functionality in the GoToWebinar. Um, and I will try and help uh, call those questions out in real time so that, that you're getting your questions answered. Um, so without further ado, I will pass it over to Martin so that he can talk to you about Yaylink. Okay. Thanks for Sarah and Simon uh, for organizing today's webinar. So uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Martin. So thanks for your time to join today's yeah, webinar. So I'm from Yaylink's sales engineer team. Uh, I'm glad to have this chance to introduce for you about the Yelling products in Candy, so that you can be more familiar with our, our products and solutions. And if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask me, yeah, to interrupt me during the meeting. So, Simon, would you please yeah, switch to the next slide? Okay, so today's uh, we will, in today's meeting, we will cover these topics, includes Yearling company introduction, Yearling con pro product overview, uh, Yearling desk phone introduction, and also have the Yearling deck and conference phone. Then we introduce some coming soon products, and in the last session, it will be the deployment and troubleshooting. So Sam, would you please yeah, switch to the next page, okay? So let's start with the first topic, the Yelling Company introduction. Yeah, as a global leading provider in, uni in unified communication and collaboration solutions, Yelling now owns more than 100 distributors covering over 140 countries and established deep collaboration with over 110 partners. We are proud to say that one in every 500 people on the earth owns or using a yearly product. Yeah, Sam, would you please? Yeah, sweet, okay. So starting from the 2001, Yearlink wins recognition from the market and the industry again and again. We topped the USB4 market in 2005 and the SIP4 market in 2018. Sequentially established the collaboration with Microsoft in 2015 and succeed in the listening market in 2017. In, two, in 2022, we have kept the top one position and occupy more than 34% market share of the SIP market. So far, Yelling has been instructed by industry leaders, brands, or enterprise so much. For example, we are the only China, Chinese enterprise in becoming the strategy partner of Microsoft in global enterprise communication core audio and video. Besides some famous carriers and ITSP, 
like Verizon, uh, Ring Central, BT, they are largest carriers in the US, European, they are all our long term partners. Likewise, Candy is also a, a very important partner for us. We have a great collaboration to win quite a few project opportunities using the Candy platform in recent years. Okay, next, let's take a look at what modules are currently available on Candy platform. Okay, because uh, the region I'm charging of uh, is North America, therefore the portfolio is mainly sold in North America are listed in here. So as you can see, this slide is about the DAX phone products. The Yearlink has the entry level phone, the T33G, as well as the T40, T40U and T50W series, which cover the mid-level and high-level DAX phone. This slide shows uh, our conference phone products and DAX phone products. In the conference phone, we have the products, the new products, CP9625, CP965, and CP935, which instead of the previous module, because the previous modules are going to end of sale. Uh, regarding the DAX solution, the W70B also is our new products instead of the W60B. Also, we have the W80 to cover the more larger scenario in DAX solution, which called multi sale With these solutions, we can meet the needs of the customer in different scenarios. As shown in this picture, in the front end scenario, we can provide a solution of T43U plus an expansion module ESP43 in the common areas. The T33G and the T43U are the most popular option for the customer. And in the conference room, we can provide the CP series, the conference phone, to cover from the small, medium, large meeting room. So you can see uh, we have uh, various uh, solutions to meet the various scenario. And Martin, we do have a question in the chat. It's, uh, does the T57 accept the expansion module? Yeah, the T57 could support the expansion module. Thank you. Okay, the next I would like to introduce our DEX phone products in details. Okay, so for first is about the T33G. The T33G rewards you with these key features. Uh, it has uh, elegant design, a uh, stronger computing ability, HD voice, uh, color screen, and so on. Uh, for example, a host switch can bring you a quieter working area and a longer service life. S second, the color screen means that you would have a high resolution graphics and a colorful experience. Then, about regarding the stronger trip set, it takes only 30 seconds to boot up. It's useful for partners who need to manage or deploy a large number of phones. For support engineers, uh, every time when they are uh, doing the troubleshooting, a uh, reboot is a uh, regular operation. So with the faster booting up time, they can save a significant time for them. This is a brief introduction of the T40U and the T50W series phone. Regarding the T40U series, the the most key uh, the key features of it is about the USB ports. It has a dual USB ports, so which means you can use it to connect with the various various accessories. 
and for the T fifty W series, yeah, it have such uh, uh, some key features. The first is about the adjustable screen. It has a fully adjustable screen to fulfill the viewing needs at a variety angles and under a, a variety of lighting conditions. And then it can it has a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. So with the built-in Wi-Fi, you can connect your phone to the network without the network cable. And with the Bluetooth, you can use it to connect to the wireless handset and the mobile phone and to enhance the mobility. And in the last, the T50W phone can support the deck mode. It supports seamless switching of calls between the DEX phone and the Cordius DEC handset via the DD10K DEC Dango integration. Okay. So the common feature of the T4U and the T5W is about the noise reduction technology. So it's due to the Yearlink yeah, unique technology. So you can reduce or filter some noise uh, from the, the corner side. Hi Sam, would you please yeah switch to the next slide? Okay. So this slide is about the high level phone, the T fifty seven W and the T fifty eight seven uh T fifty eight W. So firstly, they both have a large touch screen with the seven inches and has a built in Wi Fi and Bluetooth module. However, for regarding the T58W, it has uh, some unique feature, such as the first, it's a smart disk phone because it's running with the Android system. And the second, the T58W can support the video call due to the HD camera accessories. Then the T58W also can support the wireless handset, which name is BTH58 through the Bluetooth protocol. Uh, this slide is talking about the uh, accessories. As you can see, we have the uh, different items for different requirements. The first is the deck, dang, deck dangle DD10K. This dangle can be plugged into the T54 to switch it from a DEX phone as a DEC handset. And regarding the Bluetooth dangle, Wi Fi dangle, BT41 and WF, WF15, WF40, they can uh, be used with the, the T4U series phone to get the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth connection. And for the expansion modules, the ESP50 could be used with the, the T5W series and the ESP43 can be used with the T4U series. Both of them can be configured to support up to 60 BF or speed dial keys. And the last is about the EHS 40. The EHS 40 is accessories for third party branding handset connection with Yelling phones uh, like Jabra, uh, Plantronics, uh, Synhesia. So it's used for the headset connection accessories. Okay, this is a comparison table between Yelling phone and uh, Poly phone. Uh, you know the Poly is our most competitor on the market. So this refer to this table, you can see what's the advantage in Yelling phones. As you can see in an entry level phone compared with the T33G with the VVX 215, the uh, T33G is much cheaper and has uh, more line keys and also support the uh, more local conference. Uh, regarding the T43U, it has the same price with the VVX 215, but it can it has a larger screen and also can support the more secret counts, the more line keys configuration, uh, more 
local conference port. Also, it has two USB ports, and you can use it to connect the the dongles or the expansion modules, whatever. Yeah. In this mid-level compression table, you can see the Yannick phones also has some much advantages. Yeah. The first compared with the T46U with the VVX 350. Yeah, the T46U has a larger screen, the more light keys and the more local conference support. And also it, could, it can support the Bluetooth dongle and the expansion module. And compare the BBX450 and the Yealink T54W, you can see the Yealink T54W has the built-in Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth support. And also we have the adjustable screen and support the more like his configuration. So in conclusion, under the same price, Yearlink phones always have the most advantage in almost every way compared to the Polyk VVX series. Okay, let's move to the DAC and the conference phone section. Yeah, in the product portfolio, uh, you can see we have the W70B, uh, which is the core product in the DAC solution. Uh, it's responsible for the signal transmitting and the call management. And W70B is an upgrade version of the previous W60B. So here is some uh, here are some key parameters of the W70B. Yeah, up to the 20 simultaneous call and up to 10 handsets and up to six repeaters. And regarding the handset, we are mainly selling the W56H and W59R handset in North America. Both of them can be paired with the W70B. Yeah, regarding the W59R, it's a recognized handset with the IP67 protection. And also it has the press uh, belt clip and support the vibration and alarm feature. Also, it has a built-in Bluetooth to support, you can, uh, you can use this built-in Bluetooth to connect with your wireless earphones or headset. And regarding the W56H, yeah, this is the popular, most popular handset in the DEX solutions. So it has a color screen, uh, up to 30 hour talking time, and up to 400 hour standby, standby time, and can support the quick charging. And also it has a headset jack to connect your earphone or headset. Case. So this you uh, you may need this uh, RT30 during the deployment due to the during the during the DACT deployment because of the bad environment. The DACT repeater RT30 could extend the DACT radio coverage cover area of the W70B and the W60B. It adds a significant range in all directions. So the below are two peaks to show the connection. The first, the first peak is about we call the cascade layout. So you can see up to two repeaters, up to two RT30 can be installed in the cascade layout. And for the the all direction layout up to three repeaters can be installed with with the W70B. So it's about the repeater RT30 in the DAC solution. Okay.
sometimes so, i'm sorry martin i just on the previous screen i just wanted to ask a, about it so these can be used to both extend uh, your range coverage if you had a distance limitation or uh, a total area coverage if you wanted to expand that it, that's that's what we're showing here yeah. yeah 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 correct okay great thank you okay okay let's move on so sometimes the w70b cannot complete completely cover your communication range uh, at this point uh, you need a larger DAX solution to meet your requirements so uh, as you can see we have the more yeah, solutions to support the largest scenario for example we have the w80 yeah mc means the multi-cell sc means the yeah, single cell yeah mc means multi-cell okay so and also we have the w19 and uh, vim yeah these large solutions can support more bases and handset to cover your communication range uh, but currently uh, in candy the w80 is the only available yeah the multi sale solution on candy so far this is an architecture of the multi sale solution as you can see in the top there is a dm the deck manager yeah to manage the all bases and the base is used as the middleware to connect with the handset and the dm similarly different types of handset are also supported in the multi sale solution yeah like the w59r w56h okay we also have the yeah, other handset like w73h but it's not a yeah, popular option in north america and also we have the dd phone yeah like i mentioned and we have the DAC, yeah the wireless conference phone cp9 cp935 okay so it's about it's a, a brief architecture of the multi cell the w18 okay next is this is a slide about our confidence phone so you can see here we have the cp965 cp935 cp925 and the cp965 can be used in the medium to large size conference room conference room it has a built-in microphones and support the bluetooth or decked wireless microphones to expand your voice pickup range and for the cp9 CP935, uh, which has is which is powered by the battery, and it can switch for, between the decked mode. The deck mode it means the, the the device can work with the W70B, and it also can switch in the Wi-Fi mode, which means it can connect the network by the Wi-Fi router. And we also we have the CP925, and it can yeah it's a specially designed device for smart and medium conference room okay the above uh, are products uh, they are already available in candy and in this section let's take a look which the new products will be available on candy in the second half of this year Okay, so the first is about the headset. Yelling provides both the wired and wireless handset solution. For example, the YHS series headset can work with all Yelling phones through the RJ9 port. As for the UH series headset, you can not only use it to connect with the T40U or T50W phones uh, with the USB port, but also connect, you 
the, your laptop to work with the Candy Soft from the Smart Office. As for the WH series, the, it connects the headset and the base through the DAC signal. So for the people who like uh, moving around, it will it will it greatly increase your convenience and the mobility. In addition, uh, we are also in the process of certification of some USB accessory products, such as USB camera and USB speakers. Uh, once the integration is finished, uh, these accessories will work with work well with the smart for office in the future because you know for the current trend of the uh, working from home uh, working away from the office yeah so with these usb accessories you can enjoy a yeah, a good meeting or a good working experience at home So the last, yeah, the last topic is about how to deploy the Yearlink phones in the Candy KBS portal and how to get the diagnostic file from Yearlink phones. So first, it's about how to add device on Candy. So once you open or, or access to the KBS portal, uh, you should navigate it to the the full on the the navigate or to the full uh, movement and the device, then the management, and click add device or uh, add from file to for the mass deployment. So yeah, you can also press. The question mark button to get the in, the import template for the mass deployment, as you can see in the the bottom picture. And once you import the template, then power up the phone. You can see the phone. Yeah, is has the ready status. Okay, so this uh, second is about the uh, provision. So we have the integrate the, R, the Yearlink RPS server in K, KBS portal. So the full name of the RPS is uh, Yearlink Redirection Service. So on the KBS portal, uh, after you import the MAC address of your device in the portal. So you will so you will see the status of the import device. Yeah, it's ready. When the phone first boot up, it will look up, look for a redirection re redirection from the RPS server automatically. Then the RP, the RPS server will send the Candy provision server. Uh, URL to the phone. So this is the yeah the RPS work, the workflow of the RPS service. So once the phone gets this URL, uh, it will yeah send the download request to download the CFG file from the, the Candy provision server according to the, the according to the URL. Then uh, once the phone gets the correct the correct CSG, CFG file, the configuration file, uh, it will you should restart your phone and to carry out this configuration file. And just for clarification for anybody, this is what Candy refers to as zero touch provisioning. <laughs> I think uh, a zero touch provision is yeah. I think it's uh, the it's the other name yeah. We 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 call it use by the RPS or 
auto provision because yeah, but they use the same yeah same way to make the phone to get the the provisioning URL and uh, get the convolution file from the the provision service. I think the the key points to remember are that once the device is provisioned in the candy portal and in a ready state, that means that the Mac has been registered in the Yealink uh, RPS server. And yeah. it understands at that point that the candy portal controls that device. So then steps one, two, and three uh, can continue. The phone can boot up automatically, uh, get redirected to the candy portal portal for its configuration files and those should get loaded and the configuration updated in the phone accordingly. Are there any questions about that process? There's none yet, but we can give it a second. Okay. It's usually when people have some questions about that maybe everybody's got a good grasp on it. Yeah, I'm not seeing any, so we can carry on. Okay. 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 So the third is about the assigned device on Candy. So I uh, I will not go into details in this part. Uh, I think Candy had or uh, has a user guide uh, to introduce how to assign device on Candy. So I think if you some partners or customer need to know to learn how to assign device i think jason can provide his help to send this guy to everyone after the meeting i think this yeah steps is yes is simple and easy for the user to add a device to assign device on candy and those are uh, those documents are on our partner portal, Martin, so that they can download them at any point. So yes, there is a configuration guide for Yealink. Okay. And Martin, we did have a question come in about the RPS process. Um, mm -hmm. What is the RPS IP to open in the customer firewall? Oh, you mean there are. The RPS IP is not open. It has a built in uh in the the form the factory the firmware, yeah. The the built in from the built in the firmware. So once the phone boot up uh, the first time boot up it will to to according to the the the, the URL to yeah. You know, uh, use the uh, server. Let, me, yeah. let me answer the questions. Hey everyone, this is Aiko. I'm from the Yelling Camp, the manager of the uh, Yelling SE team. So <clears throat> regarding the uh, IP address of the RPS, we, we do have the different IP for the different regions. Like the we have the uh, specific IP for United States, the North America, and also we have the specific IP for European side. So we will provide a list of those IP address for different regions to your candy and they can maybe publish on their website or share with uh, our partners and then, and then you can uh, have to uh, <clears throat> transfer to the customer to let them to open or add the values on the customer's firewall. Yeah, Nick, if it, you want to send that to me, I can get it on the partner portal. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just going to yeah. respond to the question. Is it best, Echo, to just utilize the FQDN? Uh, I believe it's so what is it rps.yealink.com yeah and, and, that's right and, and and that way no matter what region or if the IPs change you're you're always covered at that point yeah okay. yeah thank you thank you echo thank you Jason mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we could move, move to the next slide. Okay. Okay, so regarding the troubleshooting, 
So always the customer or the end user has some issues or from the yeah during their experience or using. So if they report this issue to the technical or support team, so how so how do you yeah, send the diagnostic file with the to yelling team to the further investigation? So you should import export logs and the configure file with for Yelling phones. So I attach a link a website link here and you could yeah this is a guide to show how to export yeah the computer smiles from Yen phones and if you yeah if necessary you could yeah access to yeah you can keep it to your yeah to your book list and uh, uh, access to link if you need it but uh, in brief steps there are four steps here so the first is about uh, so the first is to up, to get the phone IP address so how can how how can we uh, get the phone IP address so you can so there is a two uh, two ways here so the first way is yeah you can click the open but the OK button on the phone's uh, dial pad and you can see there is an IP v, IPv4 address and also you can click the menu icon on the screen and uh, go to the settings and network to to see the IP address of your phone then uh, you you should use this IP address to access the phone web interface so you should uh, you should uh, please open your browser and uh, input the IP address you get and uh, click the enter button on your keyboard and then the phone will the, the interface will remind you to to input your admin uh, name and uh, admin password the password and the name is default yeah by the, uh, the, the default password and the username is admin admin so i think pen is not change uh, the password yeah, after the provision okay so then you should export the logs and convolution files uh, in the web interface and send the logs and the file convolution files to yelling team okay so uh, simon would you please yeah, switch to the next page Okay, so here is a uh, detailed steps to introduce uh, how how can how can we export the logs and the configuration files in the web interface on the phone. So first, uh, like I said, yeah, navig yeah, if you access to the web interface successfully, yeah, please navigate to the settings, then to the configuration and make the following changes to enable the local logs that yeah, includes the module log and local log then click the star button to log in to get the diagnostic logs and uh, then please re reproduce the issues uh, you faced on the Yannick phone and once the reproduce is finished uh, please click the stop button then the configuration file will automatically generate it and download uh, if not yeah, please click the export button here so this is the detailed steps to to show how to export the diagnostic file the logs yeah for a yelling phone okay okay so it's all about today's yeah introduction so if you have any questions feel free to ask
So I'm watching the chat. I'm not seeing any come in just yet, but we'll give them a minute. All right, I'm not seeing any questions. By all means, if you have a question, feel free to ask it in the questions log. We can give it about another minute or so, and if we haven't gotten any, then we will give you guys some time back. Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Yeah, no, I'm not seeing any questions. So we do want to thank everybody for your time. I hope you found this valuable. Um, we will be posting the recording up on the candy.io website. So uh, feel free to share it out that way. Um, again, if there's no other questions, we will go ahead and give you guys 15 minutes back. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Echo. Thanks, Martin and Jason. Appreciate Thanks, you Martin. joining us today. Yes, thank you. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.